In this video, I'm going to reveal 11 ways to promote your YouTube channel and get subscribers and views fast. I am going to mention some social media sites, but it's probably not in the same way that you're expecting. So listen out because I'm going to reveal some secrets today. Number 11, Quora. Sign up and start answering questions that your videos answer. Put your YouTube links in 25% or less of the answers, but make it useful. Don't just post your YouTube links actually provide some information in there as well. And you want to put your YouTube link as your website link and that is important because you don't want to seem too spammy and just want to promote your YouTube channel. You want to promote it as your website link. So use Quora to do that and you know you can answer the questions that are actually relevant to your YouTube channel and videos and topics that you are answering in the videos. And by doing this you're going to find relevant people that are actually going to come to your channel and actually want to watch the videos. And you may even get some early feedback by doing this because people on Quora can reply to you and actually tell you maybe something interesting about the videos that they just watched and maybe they don't even realize that it's your channel, you know. You might just be promoting it as a sort of source there. You don't have to come across as it being your video. Number 10, forums and Discord communities. Look up your niche and forums related to it and you wanna find ones similar to the videos you make. You wanna use your email, which is the same name under your channel to sign up to these communities. Start interacting in the community and giving value. This is super important. You wanna provide value before you take from them. Search your niche at discboard.org and you can easily find actually relevant communities that you can actually target and hit. You wanna join the communities and start talking to real people in there and only put your YouTube link in there if it makes sense. If you're making educational type of content and people are asking questions about that sort of topic, then you know you wanna put your YouTube link in there and it applies to that sort of thing. You can answer their question in depth via text on the community and then you could actually provide your YouTube video as a more in-depth explanation of your answer. Number nine, TikTok. Now this is something that's really relevant right now actually. Go to your audience retention graphs and see where it spikes. You want to see where it's above average on the relative retention rate if you don't have any spikes on your normal retention graphs. You want to cut the parts of your videos that are most watched into one minute vertical segments to be posted on TikTok and this is very very good to actually gain traction for your YouTube channel. These moments on your YouTube channel are likely to do well on TikTok because they're actually proven on your channel already to do well. So TikTok, it's most likely gonna do well as well. If you can put captions for attention as well, then that's super important as well because TikTok is great for that and vertical format is also great for that. And then basically you wanna put your YouTube channel as the link in the bio on your TikTok account because then people will come to your YouTube channel to watch more content. This is a great strategy to actually turn people on TikTok into rabid fans of your YouTube channel. So this is something that I urge you to get started and do right now because it's something that pretty much every channel out there can do. So it's be stupid if you don't do it. Number eight, WordPress or Medium blog. This does take some time, but you know, you'll be reaping the rewards later on by actually doing this right now in advance. Don't copy and paste exactly what's said in your YouTube video, but translate it into an article that can be posted as a blog. And then you wanna embed your YouTube video as the link onto that article. I recommend using WordPress and getting a theme like the Astro one, and then you can start tagging your post in there and adding SEO to it as well. You want to use the Yoast SEO plugin to actually rank for some keywords because that will tell you exactly what to do via WordPress, the Yoast SEO plugin. And you can use a tool like Ubersuggest, which is free to know what keywords to rank for on Google. There's tons of blogs getting hundreds of thousands of visitors per month and this is a great asset to have. Personally though, I would only do this if you sell an affiliate product or your own digital product in the blog and the website because there's not really much point doing it otherwise. Because you can make a ton of money from it as well as well as the views, so it's much more worth it and worth your time if you have that sort of product to be selling as well, either affiliate product or a digital product or some sort of business outside of YouTube. Number seven, Reddit. There are a lot of subreddits out there that you can actually utilize and you can find your niche on Reddit easily by doing this. But a lot of subreddits don't allow you to post links in there, so how do we get around this? You wanna make a Reddit account with its name as closely to your YouTube channel name as possible. Put a post on your profile with the best video or link to your channel on there. Pin the post to your profile. Join all the subreddits related to your niche as mentioned earlier. Participate in conversations related to your niche. You'll get a lot of benefits to this including quality traffic and you also get some people responding via comments to this. You'll also learn a ton about your niche and you'll know exactly what people wanna see because people are gonna be posting that on these subreddits and you can learn so much from these people because these are actually people that are potentially and probably in your audience. So those are the people you wanna be learning from and potentially making videos about things that they're after. Here is a key tip, go to the subreddits and go to the top rated posts and maybe make videos on the posts that people have actually made which have got the most attraction because those types of posts are people that are actually interested in that follow your niche and that sort of thing. But obviously make it original and post it in your own words on your YouTube channel and you know make it unique and all of that jazz. Number six, Twitter. Create a Twitter account. Put the best video you're most proud of 
in your Twitter bio and pin it as a tweet at the top of your profile. Make sure you have a visual for the tweet, so post the thumbnail image there or just some funny bit from your video or something important from your video so people can actually visualize it there. Or even better, post the best 30 to second part of your video as a trailer there. Search all the top YouTubers in your niche and follow them and even engage with their accounts and reply to them as they are tweeting out there because those are the types of people that actually have people of audiences that you actually want to follow your page as well. So if they see you replying, they're probably going to try and interact with you eventually. And the more you do, the better you actually get out there. Because if you keep replying to these accounts, your name will easily be out there a lot more than if you just don't do anything. A great way to get ideas about what you should be replying to the tweets are if someone makes a funny YouTube comment, then pretty much you can take inspiration from that and copy it and post that exact same thing as a reply to someone's tweet. People will most likely come to your profile if it looks enticing and they'll probably check out the pinned tweet that you actually posted. You obviously probably won't go viral by doing this, but you can get quality people who are interested in your content and the more the merrier, the more people you can get initially at first who are interested in your content, the better. If you get the right people to push your videos at the right time, then that means you can go viral easily because YouTube will detect that and then it'll push it to more people similar to those people that you found either on Twitter, Reddit, or any of these other suggestions we're making. Five, Pinterest. A lot of Pinterest pages actually rank on Google for some search terms, so you probably didn't expect this to be a certain thing to get views on YouTube, but it actually is. What you wanna do is pin every video that you upload to Pinterest and write an optimized title and description to that pin. You can use a tool like VidIQ to find good keywords. The goal here is to get your Pinterest image to come up in the Google searches because then people click straight through to a YouTube video because that's what the pin is actually directing it to. Number four, Facebook groups. Now this one is super important that you get right because you don't wanna just be spamming your link in there. That is the wrong way to do it. And you don't wanna join Facebook groups where you just have so much spam in there, there's not really much going on at all. You know, this isn't really what you wanna be working with. You don't wanna join groups at all that are just spam. You wanna be joining groups that are actually providing value and have real people in there that are interested in your content because that is ultimately what is gonna get you the views in the end. You don't want irrelevant people coming to your channel and not actually watching the content you're posting because that isn't really gonna be beneficial to you at all. It's actually gonna hinder your content and channel if you get the wrong people. So you don't wanna just be posting your videos anywhere. You wanna be targeting the niche and this is what we're trying to stress here at Tube Mastery because it's gonna confuse the algorithm and you know you wanna be joining Facebook groups that are actually niche and actually your target audience. So that's the key to bear in mind here. You wanna be engaging with people's posts and making it relevant and providing value. This is what we're stressing when you're joining any of these social channels or making a new Twitter account, Reddit account or anything like that. You wanna be providing value. This is the most important thing when you're first starting out with engaging with communities or people online. Once you've engaged for about two weeks, you wanna message the group admins and they'll probably would have noticed you by now. So you wanna message them and see if you can actually go out there and actually post your link somewhere in their group or just provide value in a post yourself and you know try and get traction to your channel that way because it's the type of people that would want to watch your content right as long as you have that sorted out and you've engaged with the group then i don't see why the group admins wouldn't at least consider posting your links in there at least a bit but as I keep stressing, make sure the audience is actually interested in that topic. Number three, Instagram. If you have an Instagram account in the same niche, then you can use that to promote your YouTube channel because it's the same topic, the same niche, same audience. This is exactly what we want. Here's how you can use Instagram to promote your channel, but don't worry if you haven't got any followers yet. You wanna create two stories. The first one, for example, can be, do you want to discover how to make money on YouTube? And in the poll, pretty much everyone will put yes and answer your question. This will get people engaged, and then in the second story, you wanna put, swipe up to discover how you can make money on YouTube. Now, you need 10K followers to do a swipe up, but what you can do is put the link in your bio if you don't have 10,000 followers yet. But you might be wondering, how do I get a following on Instagram? We literally have zero followers, we have 10 followers even, and you know we can't even get any following, we've tried for ages. So what you can do is you can buy shout outs from big pages in your niche. You can ask them, DM them on Instagram how much a shout out will be and I guarantee you, you'll be surprised at the cost. It probably will be cheaper than you thought. You want people to follow you on Instagram so you can promote your videos in the stories just like how I just said to do it. Two, SEO. This is a big one, to be honest. When YouTube is trying to figure out what your YouTube video is about, they use metadata and this is how they do it. It includes your titles, description tags, and what's said in your video. Pretty much everything they use like that to categorize where your video is meant to be. In order to push it to the right people, that's ultimately YouTube's goal, to push the right content to the right people and make people watch for as long as possible. Bear that in mind. So you want to optimize your SEO to give yourself the best chance to hit those people that are interested in your videos. You wanna search on YouTube concepts that have already done well on successful channels and pretty much copy what they've done. You know, you can make it into your own thing, 
but follow the same format because that's obviously proven to do well. You can use the YouTube search bar to see what common phrases people are searching for and in reality you can do that for your own channel as well. Think about it from the viewer's perspective, this is why I always stress, you want to make sure you think about it from the viewer's perspective. I'll say it again, viewer's perspective, because if you don't do that, then you're probably going to get lost down a rabbit hole and not actually make videos that people care about and actually want to watch. Before we get into the number one way to promote your YouTube channel, Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like the video if you're getting value from this. Number one, let YouTube promote for you. Now I know I've mentioned so many different social media sites where you can promote your videos, but YouTube is actually the number one way to do it itself. Just by using YouTube, just have to post your video and let YouTube do its magic. And like I said before, the YouTube algorithm is very important in order to find the right video given to the right person at the right time. This is what's super important. Most of the videos that we've had here at Tube Mastery that have gone viral with millions of views have actually been when we've allowed YouTube to promote them. It can take months for a video to get any traction or channel, but you know it's worth it in the end for the long run. If it's a good high click-through rate on audience retention, then it's obviously going to get views eventually. You just need to work on that. Start by doing search traffic and making the videos optimized. Then make sure all your videos are in the same niche and similar topics. Then once one video pops off in the algorithm, all the others will follow most likely because they're in the same similar topic and niche. This is super important because if you have all these different videos in different niches, YouTube are probably just going to phase out the video that has popped off because it can't promote it anywhere else and the session time is weakened and everything just gets weakened if you do that. And that, my friends, is how you grow up on YouTube, basically. In short, don't over obsess with promoting your content on other social media platforms because most likely you're probably going to hit an audience which isn't interested in your content and that's just going to hinder you even further. You want to upload consistently in a scheduled way 33 videos to start off with and then optimize after that of what's doing well, what's giving you spikes. Maybe you can do the TikTok method because that's working quite well at the moment. Start by posting mini concepts on TikTok of parts of your videos that have actually done the best and then you know you can really try and see which parts are doing the best. You can even post them as YouTube shorts after as well. That's something that we've seen work well. Basically what we're trying to say is make sure the Instagram profile or Facebook group account is basically under the same niche. That's the most important thing to take away from this video if you're going to use other social media sites. If you want to learn how to make money on YouTube without making videos, check out this video here.